Hi friends, this is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. Welcome back to Life is Strange Double Exposure. Or if you're seeing this for the first time, hi! This is Life is Strange Double Exposure. We played Early Access, which means that we just switched to the full game because it just came out. So, understood. If you want to see chapters 1 and 2, please poke Totoro, go check uh, down below. Um, you can see my first five parts. Uh, I did confuse everybody by switching it to episodes and saying episode one, two, three, four, seven parts. But that's because they switched from saying episodes in Life is Strange to chapters. So technically we're in chapter three. And this is chapter three. If you want to see chapter one, poke Totoro up uh, above, you'll see it there. All right, we're going to continue with the chapter three. What if we've... All right. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, hello. I love that I can change my outfits. Oh, kitty. Hello, kitty. Tell your cat I said... Pss, 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 pss. I love it. Okay. Final Fantasy. Nice. Oh, it's a pet rock. Oh. It actually reminds me a lot of Miss a little misfortune. Oh that outfit though. It's so gay. Okay, that's fun. Okay, that's fun. But like the Lisa Frank. But that's so cool. I think it'll distract me a little bit though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with this. Alright. We're gonna begin our chapter. Uh and again, where we left off, we just discovered Safi's camera that she had on her when all of this went down and uh, that Noah had stolen and so we developed it and uh, so our double double exposure ah all right here we go chapter three spin I'm so excited I love playing life is strange hi you live in a gorgeous gorgeous place Hi. Hello. Oh. Dark room. Uh huh. Oh. How is it already morning? Great question. This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillionth time. I've got to be missing something. Did we take a look at the flash drive that we got? No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Make it make sense. Okay. We're gonna read first. Okay. All I've done la all night is stare at this ugly fucking ceiling. There's nobody up in the entire house but me. I'm up. Come over if you want. Uh, if you feel like it. It's too cold to leave the house. This is why you should kick somebody out of Abraxas' house and let me live there. You need to get the fuck out of Vermont, dude. Well, you could always live somewhere else. Not in the mood for this. De uh, die. I, I, I get it. Someone once asked me why I like numbers. The reality is numbers have no emotions. That makes them easier to understand. They just are. 
a babe, easier to understand, isn't inherently sup superior, and what you're going through right now is normal, even if it's also painful. Spoken like someone who's never met an irrational number. <laughs> Kidding, of course, but hopefully that made you smile a little. Three days and no word from Caledon. Oh, uh, or uh, I get where Diamond's coming from. This must be terrifying for students. No word from Caledon or the cops about Savi's death, except a rumor about a detective alderman with the lead on who shot her. It's really disappointing and frustrating to see that uh, see his faculty as well. Hell, we haven't even heard that rumor. I'm saying there's a whole school serial killer walking around campus we can't even get an update please i implore you to be patient and you can understand no one is more on top of this than i am i want justice more than anyone hold on rumor where's the where'd you hear this you have my number diamond and i expect to hear my phone ring very soon oh loretta okay so obviously this is a lot going on a lot lot going on uh Finals must be postponed, but the snapping turtle is still open if anyone wants some late night coffee or someone is around. We're open till midnight. Thanks for this, Amanda. It would be nice to get out of my dorm for a bit. Okay. Okay. Caledon's art department is amazing. Referred to a taste as an excuse. Wouldn't happen, Harry, Ricky, and money go hand in hand. Someone has to be shafted. Not true. People could be allowed to like what they like. They should, but they won't. Hmm. Okay. Sorry. Going through my phone. Okay. Yep, Max has a gun. Okay, so I, I I also have a very drugged little kitty in my lap. My poor pixel. Oh, the frame rate is crap. Great. Maybe that photo of me has a clue I'm missing. Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. As many games. Lucas's book. I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Unfortunately, Lucas didn't include an evidence that I killed Sophie chapter. Gwen's email. Why on earth did Gwen cancel Sophie's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? That's what I don't get. And this is dead timeline. So, thank you again for taking time to talk with me yesterday, last week, discuss the concerns you raised with my senior editor, all all the doctors, we, all the daughters we don't talk about. I know this isn't the outcome of any of us expected, uh, exactly wanted, but I really appreciate your insights. Yeah. Just dropped a bomb on you, but have you had a chance to discuss my concerns with your senior? Okay. I can't explain it. I don't understand it. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Safi. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. There's also that flash drive from Gwen. Maybe something on there will crack the case wide open. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. They had to go to a lot of trouble. They had to steal the horns, the cow skull first, then they had to throw it through the windshield. And we know that Vin knows about this because uh, him and Safi are together. Okay, so it, it's both timelines in, uh, evidence here. So Gwen's email is from the living timeline. It doesn't tell me which is which, though. Sorry, Gwen. If there's something useful on this, maybe you'll thank me later. All right. I'm going to watch it. Oh. 
Hold on. She's looking right at the camera. Yeah. Like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Huh. Or is this another doppelganger? I think it's another doppelganger. That doesn't ex help me explain the doppelgangers. Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? Let's do that. Restraining Order Lucas said Safi once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Safi, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Before Safi died, Gwen got her book canceled, and I still don't know why. But know why. that doesn't mean she killed Safi. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Safi, canoodling. But what does that even mean? He knows about it because Safi told him about it. I have to prove that wasn't me. None of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? Good question. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Coffee is friend. Get Not coffee me. now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. I love the blue hair. Moses? Put the... put it away! That's incriminating evidence. Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. I don't have answers for you. Um... I mean... He might have an have questions, but I don't really want him in here, but... This will make him suspicious if I tell him what to get out. Of course, I... I can answer your questions right here. Well, this is a nice change of pace since yesterday. I appreciate the cooperation. There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay. Where you went to high school, right? Yes. Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Oh. Why not are unlike you? Unlike Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A whole town wiped out by a freak storm. That's so mean. Fuck him for using her trauma. What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? That's messed up. Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Ugh, he's such an ass. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? Uh, don't, don't lie. You, I, what, what do you mean? 
I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. No! You should fucking this get out of my house. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Why? Somehow, all this death leads to you. There's only one death you're, le you're looking That's at. That's not true. <laughs> He's a creep. He's a creep. <laughs> He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. Yeah. What the hell do I do now? Destroy it? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? Why did you bring it upstairs? The old me would have just... Jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Can you? Can you? Maybe. Maybe I still could? Maybe? There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Did we really just jump? So that's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Sophie. Here too. No, but there wasn't a storm the day Sophie died. There wasn't. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Maya? Uh, tell me who is Maya compared to you, Sophie. Sophie, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? Stop stalling, Max! How do I stop this? Tell me how to stop this! What do I have to do? Pull the trigger! There's not much else you could have done there. 
Are you gonna go back in? Really? <clears throat> you harm uh, yourself. Uh, oh, come on! If I can just... Fuck! Max. My darling Max. Moses. You were right. I don't know how. But you were. I have to tell him. Everything. You do. You do need to tell him everything. Are we going back up to the la Outlook? Uh, okay, here we go. I owe you an explanation, or as much as I, I have. Meet me in the Overlook? Really? Max, there? I know it doesn't make sense. I'll do my best, please. Fine. Don't meet, like, in a place that could be just overheard. Maybe that? Maybe that? Maybe that? Okay. Fine, fine, fine. <sighs> okay, apologies, but this section seems to be a little bit laggy. I tried to do a reset trick, not the case, unfortunately. It's got the same kind of laggy issue that it had when it, when chapter one and two came out. But hopefully it's not as bad as one and two, so we might be able to get through this. Okay. So we're still in Dead World. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. Oh wait, Captain Chloe. Oh my god, Chloe. Oh my god, Chloe. Okay, my go-to flirt game is simple. One, compare hand sizes. Hands are hot. Two, hold hands, because again, hands are hot. Three, hand holding plus dancing equals grinding. Bitch, ain't not nobody can fall in for that. <laughs> I think it's cute. It's them tattoos, because you really don't know what you're doing out there, Cher. Of. Not everyone agrees with you. Okay. Chloe. Okay, good to know. Chloe's got a hand thing. Which is fair. That's fine. But, oh my god. Okay, hold on. Um, Alderman knows about my powers. He forced his way in here and scared the shit out of me. Maybe if I pretend I pretended I was on his team, he wouldn't bust in here like that. But I doubt it. Worst thing is, he saw the photo. Just smiled at me. The fuck? He's plotting something, but I don't know what to do. How do I stop a cop? Chloe, later the strangest shit happened. Oh. Oh. You're titling it to Chloe. Chloe, later, the strangest shit happened. My old powers came back and I saw what happened with Safi. I did do it. I don't know how. I can't let this happen. Feels like I'm running in circles. And I don't know how to make it all just stop. Ah. Uh because -huh. Chloe is your main outlet. And your main confidant until you ha get Moses in here. Oh, <laughs> collectibles. Okay. Well, we gotta go looking around. Are you gonna let me come back here? Cool. Okay, so there's the same like flipping point. What? There's two? Is this here because of me? Because I'm fucking with time again? Look at you! It's Bear Mug Tree. I have to do this. Okay, you won't let me go that way. Okay. 
Good to know. But I gotta explore everything. I am the type of person who will sit here and explore the world. So if you don't like that type of play gameplay, I'm sorry. This is not the day for it. But if it is, uh, here we go. Some of that was definitely directed at me. Unfortunately, I've been placed on leave from Caledon. Obviously, the years I've invested in this place are not enough for people to realize my integrity and values. Thank you to everyone who has had the decency to respect my privacy at this time. I'm sorry you're going through this, Gwen. I don't believe any of it. People who truly know you know how insane this is. Why they fire you? Did they have evidence? Oh, Safi. Running late with grades, but I promise I'll have them ready in a few days. Good to know. I've been on the lookout all week. You good, I promise. Go party or something. Me and Diamond are still finishing up some admin work. Swing by and we'll make it a party. I'm down. Month's native artist spotlight. Tegan Thomas. Abenaki artist from Lakeport. Specializing in watercolors and local uh, landscapes. And people asking, Tegan is lovely, but no, we are not related. Just because her middle name is Thomas. Not all indigenous people are cousins. Jeez Louise. <laughs> like, I'm not even Abenaki. I'm Cherokee. I'm Algonquin. My uh, parents moved here from the Midwest. <laughs> Wait until they learn we drive U-Hauls. <laughs> okay, but Amanda, you should be not be allowed to drive U-Hauls. You might move in with someone you barely know. <laughs> Gay joke, I get it. Hey now, you're an all-star. Get your game on. Go play. Really appreciate this, Amanda. This play, the Snappy Turtle, means everything to me. Aww. Oh, through the looking Max. I love the name Max. Okay. Boop. All right, we're gonna look. Okay, muck trees and is at the this same here level. because of me? Because I'm fucking with time again? Okay, before it was only in the living that the mug tree was happening. Now it's in both, which is fascinating to me. Hi. Probably gonna be turned around? Cool. That's okay, I don't mind. I do not mind. Keep exploring a little further up, and then we'll switch timelines up ahead. Boop, boop, boop. Who knows what you'll find? Okay. Before... Normal. At least you're normal. Oh no! <laughs> no! No, no, no! It's getting worse! Oh. Switch. Okay. Oh no. No! No, no, no! Okay. It's getting worse! And it's in both timelines. Good to know. I wasn't sure. I have a tiny little precious drug cat in my lap. He's drugged because he had to go to the vet. That's normal, unfortunately, for little kitty butts. Okay. If I remember, this was taken down in the living. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? Hmm. Is the art piece down in the... Yeah, it's been cleaned up. Okay. Okay. Yesterday I was interviewed a group of students who said they were swarmed by a flock of owls at the Outlook. A flock that suddenly disappeared. Anyone else experienced something similar? Bring on the teleporting owl parliament, I say. So tell me you actually believe this stuff. Nah, I'm just not... I'm not into supernatural stuff, but something... Someone's making this happen. 
Don't forget to come roast me at the Snoop, uh, Snapping Turtle tomorrow. Get peek at jokes and they are lit. Wow. Maybe fire your publicist for this. Wish I could go. Um. I'm not, they're not gonna summa cum laude me, but I think I squeaked by my econ file. Thank fuck. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you for helping me. I owe you a tasty drink. That's what I'm talking about. Love to be average. Okay, so that got cleaned up. Gonna comment on that or no? Okay. And the living shouldn't be any problems here. Okay. He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. Snowdrop flowers. Snapshot. I know Sophie would have something poetic to say about this. If only. Double exposure. not here yet let's give him a few minutes Maybe wait on the bench nope shit Ugh, sorry Moses I know there's a rational explanation for most phenomena but I gotta say whatever happened to my telescope defies any I can think of not the huge telescope you were excited to assemble and I insincerely said I would help love to help you with the very same going on record to say on behalf of the entire science department we not touch your tight Telescope, maybe Carla. When we were kids, I messed with the telescope Moses got for Christmas, and he's uh, <laughs> and he got his revenge. Let's just say my stomach ain't been right since. Whew. I've heard some weird reports about performance art uh, at the observatory overlook. Can't take credit for myself, but I applaud my fellow Abraxians for their creativity. Performance art? I haven't been up there in a while. It's sick. You should check it out. Whoever is going up there, better not be Abraxas. Yes, ma'am. Typical of Braxis. Think you're the only one with good ideas. You taking credit? <laughs> you think I've got that kind of spare time? Good point. All I do is vin. All I do is vin, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind and I'm ne never gonna stop. Might be a good place to wait for Moses. Better cross to the other side. Yeah, but I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing stuff, you know? It's snowy today. All right. Might as well gather my thoughts before Moses gets here. Wait. What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me... Could do something like that? You shouldn't blame yourself. He's probably not coming. He probably is coming. Just give him time. It's okay. Aw, oh, the mugs. Oh. It's a pretty game. Hello, owl. Right, I'm gonna 
click out. The hoots. Diamond knows where I am and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. I haven't done it yet. I don't think I've actually done it yet. I think it was a future version of me. Moses, wait! I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look. These flowers. What are the odds they bloom in the middle of winter? Exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one. Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. But I can show you. But I can show you. Yep. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait. You can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... You'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay. Okay, deal. 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 That's smart. Alright. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Okay, are, are you wanting me to go to that one? I will. Can I look at Moses? Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. All right. Max? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay. I mean, honestly, Moses is the most real. For like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what's just happened? Okay, let's try this again. What was it? Can you say it again? Once more with words? Alright, well... What did I do when you were away? And then you said... 
Machine Angel Psychic Storm? Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um. Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean. Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... He's thinking. You okay? The odds are... So are Safi's alive over there, huh? Yeah. She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap. The bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. Can you give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. Okay. I will. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need her help. Yep. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... Raise my hand and undo everything. Everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Yep. Uh. It never worked how I had hoped. I know it sounds like. It must have been amazing. <laughs> but, Moses, the things I caused to happen, just having a power doesn't necessarily give you mastery over it. One of many lessons gleaned from X-Men comics. The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night, with a gun. You're saying that could be a future you, even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. Mm -hmm. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya. And, oh, God. The storm. The storm. Max? Look. There's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Sophie. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses, I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. Uh. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thyatt's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, 
I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of it. <gasps> I fucking knew it. Returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small-time fuck-ups like you get under my skin? God, he's such a creep. Why are you holding a gun on them? What? You're not making sense. You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. Uh-huh. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to... Do you see yourself? Yup. <laughs> Older man. This is dangerous. I mean, quite honestly, Alderman needs some freaking help right now. And like, a cap, but like, help him. Yep. Oh. 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 You have to let go! No! Oh, he died. <laughs> Holy I shit. Could have saved him, Moses. I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Oh my god. Okay, so this tells me white hair. Moses, your hair. I told you, there's always a cost. Start it with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you... Why she died. And maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. Yep. The whole day I've been talking to people and spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey. 
Safi mentioned Maya, right? Yep. When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. Maya was before my time. But Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. True. Gwen. But she's upset. Gotta go talk to Gwen. We've pissed off Gwen in both timelines. Oh my god, it ate Alderman. Oh my god, it ate Alderman. So I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya, and while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. Okay, but this is, this is Dead World, so. <sighs> okay. Okay, cool. we're gonna process this. Um... I'm a tired sun, sleepy moon, and exhausted rising. I'm a border collie sign, cinnamon oat latte moon, and slip and slide racing. <laughs> you can see that smart with the adorable face and lactose intolerant. I think you're Pomeri more Pomeranian than collie. Wow, our friendship's dead. Safi's first public reading was the book expo. Hold on. Nope. Safi's book was the book expo. She had all of us eating out of the palm of her hand. She was meant for so much more. She appreciated you being there. She was so nervous. It didn't show. Uh, she was full of espressos and having the time of her life. It's nice to remember her that way. <sighs> Lucas taking a spotlight. Was personalizing the book expo and, and Van asked me to address his to uh, Simeon. He said, like the author. And then he looked up and lo and behold... It really was him? It was. Simeon is a genuinely kind guy. He makes it a point to get author uh, autographs from all writers, veterans as well as up-and-comers. Alright. I love Gwyn. I'm gonna say that. I'm just emotionally toll from this. My acquaintance? My friend? My friend. Okay. Okay, Gwen. Uh, disciplinary hearing. Uh, cleared a whole week. Uh, was caught in camera dealing drugs. This is the living. And living Gwen is out of office, so it's only dead Gwen. Somehow involved. So, okay. Hmm, okay. So, we can do messages. Hey Max, I know it's been a quite uh, eventful morning. I'm still parsing it all, but quick question. Are you able to get my text when you're in the other timeline? Trying to grasp the extent of what you can do from physics. I can't, actually. Okay, cool. That's a big help. Be in touch. Yes, man. Well, Maxine, I just wanted to say I appreciate the friendship you and Mouses had with Sophia. Even though she ended her life in a matter she did, you both made the life she did have as special as it was brief. <sighs> okay. Oh, wait. Can I go backwards now? No. I have to click through the whole time. Okay. What the fuck? I could have saved Alderman. I could have saved him, couldn't I? I was so close. If only Moses hadn't... <sighs> Shit. Moses saved my life. He didn't know what would happen. Neither of us did, but he leapt in anyway. It's been a long time since I was the one being pulled from a bad end by someone else. Who knows what would have happened if to me if Moses hadn't stepped in. You are bounded in a way only a near-death experience can. God, I hope Moses is alright. 
Please let him be alright. Blip. Ugh. Okay, so good to know, if you touch your double, then you could die. Yeah, left his door open. I got to watch him hate my writing in real time. Oh, I'm sorry, phone guy. I could practically read my grade off his face. Hard and hard. Okay, anything else in here? Okay, I can switch over the timelines. Oh, wait. Um. Hey, sorry if I was a little hard on you. Just don't be a stranger, okay? I won't. You're worried I totally get why you're upset. I, w I won't be a stranger, I promise. Thanks for saying that. So, are we okay? Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. Uh, yo, Max, shut in the dark here. By any chance, you know what happened to my telescope? The very heavy, very expensive telescope I was almost done with assembling. Set away for a few minutes, and when I came back, it was no longer close to being assembled. Uh, not faulty materials. Carlion, maybe? Carla pranking you again? Maybe she saw an opening? I thought that, but even with the combined might of science department, it would take them an hour and change. That is freaky. X-Files theme. Moderately sure it wasn't aliens. <laughs> Moderately. Okay. Ugh, can we can we text Chloe? Chloe, it's it's happening again. God. Hello, everybody. Oh, Loretta. Loretta's a hard worker. I'll give her that. I just wish she'd use her powers for good. True. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? How's Reggie? Have you talked to Reggie since yesterday? Reggie? Reggie Kagan? Business major Reggie? Uh-oh. Crap! Wrong Loretta, Max! You Oops. know what? Ignore me. I am lost in space. <laughs> End of the semester, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Max? Anyway... Catch you later, Loretta. This Loretta knows. Uh oh, I accidentally tipped off Loretta. I can't imagine being this trusting. Don't they know there's snoops like me around? Like me? Professors sitting on the table? That doesn't look comfy. No caffeine? This week of all weeks? We're out of the good I stuff. I predict outright revolt before the week is out. The man was higher than expected, but we should be in stock in a few days. No! My dearest Annabelle, I write to you from the front lines to inform you that the <laughs> war on Christmas has been lost. Oh my goodness. Maxine. Okay. Tree. Tree. Hmm. Okay. Anything else in here? Oh yeah, there's the arts install here. Let's talk to the future. Quit looking back- no, looking backwards is very important. Things will get better. The way things are isn't how they'll always be. But you have to work to change them. Alright. It's here from the past. 
I know I should say something. It's just... It took me so long to get into the society. I'll be damned if I quit because of one little comment. Still, if I don't speak up, who will? Ugh. I swear, if it was anyone else in charge, I'd feel a little bit better about all this. I don't know. The society... Was she talking about Abraxas? Something's fishy with Abraxas. Boop, boop, boop. Wait, Donner and Blitzen means thunder and lightning? <laughs> Who knew Santa's reindeer were so metal? I mean, sometimes they are metal if it's a heavy metal Christmas, Battle of the Bands. Dang, Sophie must be a grading machine. Oh my god. Look at you. Guess Sophie would be in here, wouldn't she? Fascinating. Note. And then she didn't. Please remember to lock the door when you're finished grading. Lol, Sophie. Okay. Is this uh, I should come back and uh, change up the great book later? Type of situation. Okay. Anything in here? I don't think so. I think it just lets me into this room just to mess with me. I wonder who took the time to censor Sophie's recipe. Probably not Sophie. Nope. <laughs> One big fucking egg and lots of fucking spices. Like lots of fucking spices. Professor Moses. Oh, secret sweet potato pie. Okay, now I'm sitting here like I should totally make these. I hardly know any of the faculty here. I mean, you can't read any of their their names. So, Yasmin. Okay, please use this time away to be thankful for all you've accomplished uh, and hope to accomplish in the future. The classes only get harder next year, kiddos. Happy holidays, Gwen. So. That's Lucas's son? That's- Oh, this picture is too cute. Oh, it is very cute. That's adorable, Robbie. Try to keep it all next year. Fuck. This doesn't look so great for Gwen. In accordance to the rules and policies of Cal uh, Caledonia University, Gwen Hunter has been suspended from her duties pending further investigation. Please contact the Office of Student Affairs with any concerns. Padlock. Jeez, Caledon. Is that necessary? Kinda. Because we would be breaking in otherwise. Oh, wait. That's awesome. I should follow them for more info. Okay. Sign up via at for more up. Okay. Uh, Professor Gwyn Hunter, one of the most beloved professors at Caledon, has been suspended for reasons the university refuses to disclose. Please join us as student-led discussion this evening in room 201 to discuss how we can support Professor Hunter as she supported us. Hello, Max. Alright, dead world. If we can't sit on tables, where are the cool kids expected to sit? It's fun and in casual. chairs? It's like a bunch of squares? Chairs like squares. As fun and casual as it looks in the movies and on TV, we ask the students to refrain from sitting on the tables. Uh-huh. Hmm. My younger self might have thought this would make an edgy photo. <laughs> oh yeah, you had the poor grades. Anything else over here? Just the shift area. I, for one, kind of like the paper straws. Yes, nobody likes the paper straws. We've heard you. We continue to hear you. Unfortunately, until we run out of them, and we have a lot, we can't replace them with your preferred delivery method of plastic. There is composable, which is basically a bioplastic. That's a good middle ground, but honestly, I like paper straws. I enjoy it. I don't know why people are so obsessed with it. 
Lo-fi ambient bellows to chill slash study to. A classic. I would take the bellows from below over non-discriminate, uh, non-descript, uh, other thing. Release the crash. Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? Hmm. I'd been meaning to ask Diamond about her new movie. It's nice to see her so excited about something other than Moses. Oh. Meeting tomorrow. Where? What meeting? <laughs> Is it endorsing meetings in general? That's a great question. Have fun. Zero zero until tomorrow at Burlington Book Expo. Audrey? I'm worried about Kim. So am I. None of my attempts to reach out have yielded results. You? Nope. She's still not answering any of my calls. I think she's blocking them. I saw her in the North Quad, but she turned and ran the other way. This just isn't like her. Last time we spoke, Kim said she didn't want to go out. I think she's depressed. Well, she told me she was busy. She's probably too focused on school. What she needs is a friend she can empathize with. Someone a bit more in alignment with her intellect. That's Someone mean. who isn't droll with a stick up their ass. Oop, that's even worse. I've got it. Let's send Kim a gift so she knows we're thinking about her. Fair. Hmm. What's the humming about? Is receiving gifts truly her love language? I don't know. No wonder Kim's depressed. We don't even know her love language. Oh. Hold yourself together. We can't break down now. Kim needs us. You're right. Oh, roses. What if we sent her roses? Everyone likes that. A classic object of beauty. I think that would please her. But are roses too basic? I don't want Kim to think we chose low-hanging fruit. Okay. <gasps> You're right. It has to be perfect. We should research the perfect flower to give her. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Okay, hold up. So Kim was the one who was very distracted and like staring the I'll bet my camera into... that Gwen knows something about Maya. Kim was the one that was staring holes into... Uh, Yasmin's portrait, right? I think so. How many pets is Chester finding on the daily? No pets on campus. Last warning, if one, if I find one more unauthorized animal in Leon's dorm, I will report you to the dean and you will have to pay a fine. R.A. Chester. Great book. This must be the professor Sophie TA'd for. She mentioned he liked to tear this one kid down, but... Failing him is harsh. Can I change it? I bet Sophie wouldn't mind me helping out one of her favorite students. Hell yeah. Enjoy the A, my dude. I think you've earned it. You totally have, because Sophie would have. And since Sophie can't. Guard your ankles. Oh god. Swing by Leon Storm if you find her. Daisy is missing. She's really sweet. Oh god. It's a snake. Why is it a snake? Why is it always a snake? Sharing your story isn't what I'd call it. Oof. Okay. Alright, Gwen's office. Gwen's office. Let's see what I can find out from her. I definitely made a mistake in talking to that Loretta about any of those topics. I shouldn't have. In the living world. So, this is gonna be hard.
More music I'm not cool enough to know. The bleed. Blue weather. Old school. Nice. Okay. Double exposure. Ooh, I like that. Gwen being a vinyl girly looks incredible. It's alive! <laughs> I'm glad. A black rose? Pretty morose. Candy pecan. Happy holidays to my favorite prof. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. So this I can't imagine having to grade exams. Okay, this is helpful because this one has the firewalk, right? So it didn't have the call on Friday. So it was the living timeline that had Gwen calling the editor and canceling the book. One of Sophie's former students, I guess. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, dear Dr. Hunter, first and foremost, my condolences. I know you and Sophie were close. You don't know me. There's no reason you would. I know it might be inappropriate to come to you like this, but frankly, I frankly don't know what else to do. Before her death, Safi was helping me. I know as a member of the LGBTQ community, uh, community yourself. Yep. Oh. I love Gwen. Gwen is an amazing trans queen, and she is amazing. And I'm really sad. Uh, we haven't been able to actually be friendly with her because so much has gone down with around her. Like she's in so much like shit right now. Is that Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal canceled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? Yeah, I'm good at it. So I've been told. <laughs> Well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? Uh... Why do this to Safi? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. I know, then why? Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. It was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. You got the deal, then killed it? Let me get this straight. You helped Sophie get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. Did it make sense? How? So what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. 
What was so incendiary? Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? No. How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Um, only a little. Safi did mention to you, just in a different timeline. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. The two of them were like the creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. Yeah. And that Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then, Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Oh. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Yeah, a little bit. Last thing, uh, Safi's manuscript. One last thing. Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it, why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Okay. Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? Okay. 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 I'll be in touch a little later that when I've found some inroads into what happened earlier. Okay, I started doing a little digging into the into the Alderman situation and it's actually it's already weird. Apparently neither Vermont State nor Lake Park PD have any record of a detective Vincent Alderman ever. Okay, so uh, he deleted himself from his from the entirety of this existence. That is very weird. Okay, How can yeah. they have no record of him? They sent him. Okay. Okay, something, something, Maya Akata. All right, good to know. In the living timeline, she's not here. Okay. Hoo hoo! Dr. Hunter, this morning I attempted to call student resources, asking them why your classes for the rest of the semester have been cancelled. I was told in no uncertain terms that it was none of my business. Then I tried calling the president, she didn't even pick up the phone. Then I walked to Mr. Reeves, the custodian, and he told me he'd witnessed you being removed by security and that you'd been suspended under suspicions of selling drugs to students. I want to insult you by asking if you're guilty. I'll just wish you best and tell you you're the best teacher I've ever had. My student vis visa only lasts for another semester, but if they're already, if there's anything I can do, or if on some off chance you'll ever in ba Bangkok, look me up. Oh, Dr. Hunter, this is bullshit. You rock. I'm drunk. <laughs> Apologies for the station. <laughs> Happy birthday, stationery. It's the only thing within reach. I believe I speak for all of us when I say that it's unacceptable and you can count on our support. The hearing next week, if you're looking for a lawyer, I can recommend a decent one. We're going to fight the squin. We'll go to the paper if we have to. The lit department. You will be avenged, Abraxas. Hmm, interesting. Plants. 
hope somebody is coming in to water you guys. Preferably someone who doesn't have to break in through an alternate dimension. True. Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. Can we get these handed off to a TA? Sorry for that additional workload. Okay. Will Gwen be allowed to come back for these? It'll, they'll probably be packed up by someone else. So they took her computer. Probably going through it right now. Yeah, probably. If I'm lucky, maybe this Gwen left Sophie's manuscript behind. Gotcha. Okay, all the doctor all the daughters we don't talk about. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like I don't know. Being hit by a tidal wave. A million miles. Beneath my feet she lies still in her Sunday clothes. And we killed her with our own hands. I mean our lack of hands. I killed her with my voice. I mean, my lack of voice. Maya's book was like a child or a tumor or a rising beast within her. On the first page, she wrote that she was drowning, and by the time she finished, she was drowned. Okay, so Maya was writing a book. Laws of physics. The drowned always surface. What isn't spoken still exists. You can chop her up and sell her for parts, but her ghost remains whole. Floating there in the corner of my kitchen, giving me that familiar look. The one that says, unstitch the binding, let the pages fall. F let the pages fall out, fluttering like birds shot down. The one that says, take him for everything. He's got, and then some. Okay. To me, that sounds like... Either she was chopped up or she was shot. Either, I don't know. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. True. Okay. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max? All right. Can't tell him. Anything else I'm supposed to do in here? I don't think so. I think I've done it. Can I go check on that cat? Yasmin liked to get coffee here in the afternoon. Before Sophie died. Oh, can I get coffee then? Maybe I can get Yasmin the coffee? Nope, okay. Let's get going. And click into the next building. Yasmin liked to get coffee here in the afternoon. Before Sophie died. Okay, is it telling me... Oh, I gotta talk to the living. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Yasmin. Exactly how much does Yasmin know about the Maya Akata situation? Gwyn hinted that Yasmin was involved in the aftermath of y Maya's death. Should I have a chat with the boss? Bet you should. Decaf only. Oh, oh, that lag rate. <laughs> Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Huh. So this heartwarming sentiment isn't a Colmanero quote. It's Dickens. It's fucking cold, get coffee. Okay. Okay. Time for a delicate conversation. Ooh. Hi, okay. Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. 
Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. Really? I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. Delicate conversation, delicate. Will Gwen be fired? You're in a good mood. Safi lost her book deal. Seen Safi today? I'm gonna say, you're in a good mood. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. Ah, good. The coffee is just so-so. <laughs> seen Safi? Have you seen Safi today? No. We're meeting later this afternoon. I can tell her you were looking for her. All right, let's talk about the book deal. Did Safi tell you her book deal was canceled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Mm, how did oh, you Sophia. know? I'll be sure to talk to her about this. Let's talk about Maya. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. I think... I think Safi's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Safia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Yes. Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Okay. So we know he she just lied. However, There was something dangerous there. Like, how did you know about that? Right? That's what she was saying. How did you know about that? Right? She wasn't saying... Like... She's like, oh no. So, hold on. Hold up. I don't... Feelings, right? So, I want to call her out on one hand because I want to tell her, Yo, dog. Uh, no. Yo, uh, they were thick as thieves. However, I want to know what her narrative of this is because she's gonna let something go through. Let her tell the story. Because there's something dangerous there and if I call her out, is that gonna harm? Is that going to harm our connection? Or put Max in danger here. <sighs> this is hard. I really don't want to go along with it. But logically, it would make sense to go along with it to see what she's trying to spin instead. But if I call her out, I'm actually going to get direct information. But it seems dangerous. So... Something dangerous there. We're going to go along with it. Because we know the truth there. What's she going to say instead? Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... 
What? I've heard conflicting opinions. No, there's a rumor about Maya. There's this rumor that something happened with Maya before she died. I don't want to speak ill of the dead, but... Ms. Okada appears to have caused herself a great deal of pain. Uh, so how? She had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia has been distant lately. Could you keep an eye on her for me? I don't feel comfortable. Why me? Are you sure that I'm the best person to- Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. <laughs> I don't know. Snapping turtle is great. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. I was about to say. Okay. Hey, Moses, sorry to bug you, but I had a question about Vin Lang and my Okada. Sure, what's up? Ask Moses about Vin's statement. Let's do that. Do you know if Vin put a statement out about Maya's death? I didn't see it at the time since I wasn't in Caledon yet, but Safi shared it with me once. Hang on. Uh, he said Maya was an incredibly talented writer, but she also had mental health problems. We tried to get her the help she needed, but that didn't work. If we'd known it was as bad as it was, we would have done more. Does that help? It does. Moses, you're a gem. He's probably in the admin building. Probably, but I think at this point I'm going to pause because uh, I've been playing quite a bit. I hope you're enjoying this just as much as I am. Again, this is chapter three, um, and I will play more a little bit later. I love you all. Thank you for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. Bye.